Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Eating Show and today's video is going to be very, very special because I'm going to be giving you guys some shout outs and this video is dedicated to Stephanie from Arizona. She sent me a gift card and I was able to buy all this delicious, scrumptious, <laughs> yummy, yummy food. So. Thank you, Stephanie. I love you so much. Thank you for all the love and support. And this video is dedicated especially for you. I will also be giving out some shout outs. They're going to be spread out throughout my video. So stay tuned, okay? Do not go anywhere. Also, I'm going to be telling you guys a spooky, scary story that happened to me in Mexico. So ooh, turn off your lights and grab a snack or grab some food and relax and listen to my scary story i'm gonna go ahead and put all my food right here a little asmr moments if you like it or not i don't know but asmr regardless so let's go ahead and put all my food over here Oh my god you guys we have a lot to eat today okay let me let me fix my platter okay look look at this look at this and voila look at my food and yes i have a variety of hamburgers right here i have a rodeo hamburger i have the chicken hamburger <laughs> i have a cheeseburger i have onion rings and of course Onion rings always get mixed up with french fries. I have a Hershey Sunday pie over here. Mm, I'm excited for that. Right here, I have jalapeno cheddar bites. I have chicken nuggets. And I have my sauces over here. Ketchup. And a drink. Busket. But, uh, but guess what? They didn't give me a straw. So I'm just going to pour some on a cup. And that's what we're going to be doing since we don't have a straw. And don't mind my puppy. He's going to be doing random noises in the back. I literally fed him before doing my video. So hopefully he doesn't start begging for human food. So this is our drink. Cheers. It's a Fanta drink. Orange a drink. I always go for Dr. Pepper, but today I was like, I'm kind of colorful today. <laughs> okay, so before we start our video, I do want to start with our first shout out. And this one is for Gabby G. Uh, she said, Desde Merida, Yucatan, Cancun, Mexico, te miramos siempre, Wendy. So she said that they watched me from Cancun, Mexico. What? Shout out to you girls or family, everybody, <laughs> everybody, since she said that they watch me. So that's going to be our first shout out. And yes, so I made you guys choose on IG what type of stories did you guys wanted to hear? Do you guys wanted to hear a love story? Do you guys wanted to hear a funny story? A spooky, 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 spooky. Spooky, scary story, or you, or I had the other option of like, I don't care, Wendy. I just love watching you guys. <laughs> I just love watching you. Okay, see, I always get mixed up. But anyways, um, yeah. So you guys picked spooky, scary. I'm all like, damn, you guys, you guys did not get traumatized with the kukui as little kids or what? Because I did, I did. Like the kukui te va a llevar, ahí hasta el kukui. Si no te portas bien, ahí te va a ver el cucuy. Cucuy des cucuy da. I'm like, what? How come people want to hear scary stories? But anyways, you guys wanted it and I'm going to deliver it to you guys. So, oh my God, this is going to be like a really scary one. But, oh, well, you guys wanted it. So, let's get started. How about we try this one first, the chicken that chicken it looks so mighty delicious and it has two oh it has two hamburgers two meat patties mm, pickles onions lettuce and a type of sauce so let's go ahead and try this one first mm, 
Eggs. Mm. Mm. It tastes really good. Wow. Kind of want to try with ketchup. Let's go ahead and try with ketchup. Mmm. I'm gonna open a barbecue sauce just to have it like easy accessible. What what do you usually get when you get um a Burger King? Like you get ranch barbecue. I really like their special sauces. Let's go ahead and try onion ring. Okay. Are you guys ready for this scary story? Oh, mm, did I already get dirty with my lipstick already? I bought this um lipstick at CV. Oh my gosh. I bought this lipstick at CVS for $2. It was 50% off and I was like, I said less. Okay, so let's get started with our scary story so this happened in mexico oh my god just thinking about it gives me chills you guys it gives me chills so uh, so it was a saturday me and my cousin were getting ready to go to a party and let me tell you what happened before we got invited so there was a group of like um kids our age and we didn't really think nothing about it we just thought that they were like from the neighborhood like from our ranchita you know <laughs> and um they're like oh my gosh oh my gosh have you guys heard about this party about the so-and-so people like they usually do one every like five years and it's like a huge thing and they get like a bunch of food they do they they make it so special they go all out you know like and it's like certain people can get invited so not everybody can get invited so it's just like limited and selected people so and then i was i didn't really think about it like i didn't think nothing out of it I, we were just like hella excited we we're like oh my gosh yes we gotta go to the party we made it we're vip they probably think we're gorgeous girls and they just want us like in their party you know so i you know i honestly didn't think nothing about it so fast forward saturday comes and because that's the day of the party so me and my um oh i forgot one crucial step so the um people the kids were like but just uh meet us like on the way there like so we can all get there together so you guys can come in because you, they don't really like know you girls but yeah so we can all go in together so get a bite of this burger so me and my cousin were like oh my gosh girl can you believe they're going to invite us? And I was like, but how did they see us? Or like, how do they know about us? Why did they pick us, you know? I was like, I don't care. Let's just get ready so we can go to the party. And so my cousin was already feeling like, like, um, like, I don't know, like something in her gut, like made her feel weird. And I was just like, I was thinking that she was like a oh, party pooper, you know? I was like, come on, let's get ready. And she was like, but um, I've never heard about this so-called party. And I, like, I was like getting already pissed at her. I was like, girl, if you don't hurry your ass up <laughs> and let's go. Cause we were supposed to like meet the people. Uh, it was around, we were getting ready like around five-ish or six -ish. and we we're supposed to meet them around 7 38 like, i can't remember exactly the the time but it was around that time we get ready um i'm gonna try oh let me try this one this is the jalapeno popper spicy it tastes like a dos tamales de, tamales de rajas mm. Tastes good. So, let me see this one. 
I guess this is a cheeseburger with extra um pickles, I guess. Mmm. Mm -mm. We started walking and I was so excited. I was anxious like to get to the party and I was so excited and so anxious to get to the party and the way like the houses and everything is like over there so you got like there's like a huge like main long street where you have to like travel through that and then you'll get to like the houses and then like to get out of like the neighborhood you again you have to like go through the whole thing you know and so then I told my, my cousin, I was like, oh my gosh, you know what? Let's take the shortcut. Like, let's take the shortcut so we can get there faster. And the shortcut was, like, dark. Like, there was no houses, no cars. Like, the main street was, like, where everybody goes through, you know? Here I am, windy, impatient, trying to get there. And my cousin was like, no, no, we, we have to go this way. We have to meet them halfway and i was like well no we're gonna get there first and we can all just like meet up before entering the party you know mm -hmm. let's dip it in some barbecue mm -hmm. shout out break so this is gonna be for sissy 8a vlogs she says hi wendy i'm super excited for your new video i always enjoy watching you eat and enjoy story time <laughs> thank you girl for commenting so <clears throat> so here we are <clears throat> we're like in this dark road and i start feeling like like a little bit of scared you know because my cousin is like being a chillona over here like she's like oh my god wendy why did you make me do this like we were supposed to go through the other way not this road and there's nobody over here like it's scary mosquitoes are biting me and you know like over there there's a lot of legends of la llorona she was like oh my god i hear the llorona i'm like girl if you don't <clears throat> be quiet you know like <sighs> but anyways i was like you know I do feel a little anxious. I, I started feeling weird. I felt like people were watching us. And I kid you not, like, I turned around like that just to, like, look around. And I saw this huge pair of red eyes. And I went like, ah! And then my cousin was like, be quiet, Wendy, be quiet. Like, she didn't want me to startle, like, other creatures out there or anything, you know? Like, we were already, like, scared, so... I was like, I just saw two red eyes. And then she was like, oh my God, let's continue. Like, let's speed up our walk. And we started walking. And then we see two, bam, bright as lights coming towards us. And I was like, oh my God, there's like someone coming this way. And I was like, what do we do? Do we hide or what? And she's like, no, 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 just like continue walking. They're just going to drive by and leave, you know? When that truck drove by you guys i feel like i felt the weirdest sensation ever and really 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 cold you know like you know like when you're in costco and you walk by like the fridge the big walk-in fridge area that you feel like that coldness so i like we felt that like we felt that coldness like if it was like a driving um like a huge refrigerator you know like and i was like well that was weird hold on mm. i told her i was like damn i told my cousin i was like damn they have the ac so high and it was at night like there was no reason for them to have the ac you know like so it didn't make sense to us i was like but it's kind of chilly you know and um uh, we were wearing skirts because we wanted to dress as pretty as sexy as we could so <clears throat> yeah we were wearing like really short clothing but we had like some sweaters so yeah so the truck went by and 
I was like, forget about it. I don't know who it was. You know, like, it, they don't, they're not bothering us, okay? So then fast forward, I kid you not, like, three or four minutes later, the same truck comes by, like, behind us. I turn around and I see the big bright lights again. I'm all like, oh my God, it's the same truck. They drive by us and, oh my God, you guys. This part, like, um, they threw out the window a pig's head in front of us and they just continued. Oh my God, I'm getting chills just like thinking about that story again. And they threw it in front of us and they just went, they spit up and left. And me and my cousin, dude, like, we scrammed so, 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 so loud. Like, ah, ah, like super loud. And I don't know, like, I feel like that scream could have, like, they could have at least heard us from, like, our neighborhood, you know? But nope. And then I was like, oh, my God, you know what? Let's just continue running. We're going to get there to, like, the party. And there's gonna be people there and they can like and they can protect us, you know? I took a nugget. So we were running and running. <clears throat> and I see the truck like again coming our way and I was like I told my cousin, you know what? We have to hide. We have to hide behind a tree or something. I'm not going to, like, let these people see us again. First of all, we couldn't see, like, who or what they were. But I was like, you know what? We got to hide. Like, we got to hide. And we, like, hid behind a a tree. And I do not know for some reason. But they, like, threw us again. They threw something out again. And it landed, like, next to us. I was like, how were they able to see us? And, like when they left we started walking out again and it was like a sheep's head like a sheep head and it's i'm like oh my god this cannot be happening i thought i was dreaming i was like what is going on like am i dreaming like when they like wake up i was like trying to pinch myself i was like am i having a dream like what's going on who are these people like why are they doing this to us like by this time we were already bawling our eyes like my makeup had already got ruined i was like why are they playing this like dirty trick on us like what's going on like I just want to get to the party and blah 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 okay so we were like we had already like um progress so much like we were i don't know like we were about to like we were probably out of the pathway like in five minutes i want to say and so then once we reached the um like the end of the pathway uh I saw a group of people like uh, like really far away and we met up we ran to them and they saw us crying and bawling and our makeup with her like oh my god what happened and we told them everything that had just happened and they're like oh don't worry don't worry like it's okay it's okay like you guys are gonna be fine you guys are gonna have so much fun right now let's just like go and we all started walking together we got very close to like this other like neighborhood and we could already see like all the lights and blah 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 the parties and you guys you guys hmm. So once we get to the party, we felt the same, like, coldness. And me and my cousin were like, well, this is weird. Like, why is it, like, cold? Like, why does it feel like an AC is going at its fullest speed? Like, like you know what, what, what I mean? Like, it felt, like, so cold. And people that were, like very pale um they barely had like any expression and i was like and i told my cousin i was like what's going on in here like this feels so weird and like i kid you not i turned like because you could look at the like 
parking lot it was it was like like in an open area so i turned around and i saw that white truck parked there i got the biggest chills of my life and i told my cousin do you see that like i tried to whisper like do you see that and she turns around and she says yes and oh my god you guys oh my god i need to take a bite of my burger Let me get some more drink. <clears throat> so then we go to the people who invited us and we're like, who is the people in the truck? Like, who are they? And they're like, oh, those are like really nice people. Like, those are the owners of the houses. They're the nicest, friendliest people ever. And me and my cousin we were just like staring at each other we're like in our head we're like is he lying to us what's going on like we didn't want to uh, we didn't want it was so weird like in that moment when you're like in a situation like that you just don't want to like hurt their feelings or their, because he was talking all this nice stuff about them and we just had like the worst horrible experience with them so we didn't want it to like hurt their feelings and basically we were like out with people that we didn't know you know like we had to stay remain friendly with them we couldn't just like put them in blast like oh my god it was them it was them because obviously they, these people were going to be like in their side you know so the place was like big but it was like very little people and all the people like i said they all looked pale and i like took my cousin on the side and i was like oh my god i want to go home so bad but i do not want to go through the same path i do not want to go like <sighs> through that thing again and we were like we went out and like to the side and we were like exploring the places and it was horrible like uh it looked abandoned it looked very like old and it it was the place was just like so weird we got like the worst vibes and i remember that um I remember that my cousin said that somebody like like what is this thing called brushed into her like bump into her and that person felt like really really cold and so we had to come up with a plan and i told my cousin you know what like we gotta get out of here we have to get out of here so me and her we start walking out to like a main road and we're like people are driving by and basically we're gonna hitchhike we we're like we'd rather hitchhike than to be like with these people over here shout out break this is for michael timich i am so sorry for my mispronounce your name and it says i love the key lime pie from mary calendars so there is that if you want to shout out don't forget to su subscribe well yes subscribe but also comment down below i could possibly get another shout out on my next video <clears throat> so we make it out to like the mainstream and lucky for us lucky for us we saw a taxi it was no it was not the first car it was like maybe like the 10th car driving by but at least it passed by you know and we grab it and we asked him to take us back home and once we got there we went straight like to sleep because it was already like i want to say like uh. 1 a.m it was like 1 a.m and the next morning you guys the next morning was when like we realized that Oh my gosh, let me just take a bite of it. So the next morning, we started talking to my grandma and my aunt. 
and we're like oh my gosh um what happened last night and we were telling them that there was this huge party celebration that they do every five years and <clears throat> this famous guy no not this rich guy and like he invited only like certain people and very limited and as we were talking and talking their faces just turned like blank like it, i swear it was like if they had seen a monster and me and my cousin were just looking at each other like what's going on and they basically told us that a hundred years ago there was this guy who would throw parties every five years but the guy was dead and so their faces were like so pale and like shocked and like they couldn't believe what we're what we were telling them and so basically like we were we were like in denial we we're like no no for real like we'll take you to where like we went and like you can see this is where we were at like you can find the pig head and the sheep and everything and so they took us in their they had a truck they took us in their truck we went down the highway and you, there was no pig head, there was no sheep. And then we went straight, we were like, keep driving, keep driving down the road. And then you go this way. When we like got to the supposedly location, there was nothing. And me and my cousin, we were like, oh my God. And we were like already like fighting for us. We were like, we swear we're not lying. They're like, no, like we believe you, but like, it just like, I don't know like we went to party with some ghosts or I don't know but they were telling us it was like a thing but like a hundred years ago <sighs> so we got the chills I was like damn did we party with ghosts but did we party with like dead people <clears throat> let me try mine Hershey pie. Good. Good. A little too sweet. Shout out time. <clears throat> this one is for Marlene G. I love your stories. When next video, tell us some historias de terror. Oh, there's a bunch of like stories like that in from Mexico and believe it or not stuff like that do happen let me take a bite of this rodeo burger it has like onion rings mm, that's good another bite of this mm. I think that's gonna be all I do have more shout outs they're just like really long and my videos are already like at 30 minutes so I don't want this to be like super long but if you guys liked my story don't forget to subscribe to Wendy's eating show don't forget to subscribe to my name called Wendy Follow us on TikTok with the Eating Show. And for me, I'm Wendy. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.